Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Rachel and you guys, I just made it to 100 subscribers. Thank you to every single person who has watched one of my videos, who has liked and subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so, so much from my little neck of the woods. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about master books, math lessons for a living education, volume one. So let's get into it. Math lessons for a living education level one is recommended for students in the first grade, or it is also recommended right here. It says suitable for ages five to seven. And the scope and sequence of this curriculum is also pretty robust. One of the other features that makes this curriculum pretty unique is that for every, every five days, there's a new lesson that is taught or a new concept. And there is a story and it follow, the stories follow these two twins called Charlotte and Charlie. And I've heard that a lot of people just skip the stories but my boys loved the stories um, and we, we've read every single story and the stories I believe go up to um, lesson 30 and then it's just kind of review from 30 to 36 it's review of concepts so there's no stories and my boys actually missed the twins stories because I bring my pre k -R along in for the stories as well because it's a, it's a nice read aloud. So first we'll start with some pros and cons of this curriculum. I think one of the biggest pros for this curriculum is that it really teaches copy work and penmanship and number legibility. This has so much copy work built in and especially for those younger five-year-olds who whose penmanship just really needs extra practice, extra extra um, extra love and care, <laughs> this curriculum, it has it built in. Another pro for this curriculum is that the lessons are very short. I'm talking like five to 10 minutes each. They're, they're very short. So if that is something that you are looking for, that's a pro. Another positive for this curriculum is that it does teach those younger, advanced learners the how to actually write an equation. It teaches them the plus sign, the minus sign, the equal sign, and how to do horizontal, um, how to horizontally line up an equation and how to vertically line up an equation. So for those advanced learners who maybe pick up math in the natural world very easily, but don't have those, those actual concepts being shown to them ever this was a great introduction now some of the cons of this curriculum and this might be the first one is just personal preference but when textbooks have both illustrations and then real life pictures it throws me visually for textbooks i like textbooks to either have all real pictures or all real illustrations and the mixed media just it just irritates me a little bit that might be a pet peeve of mine though so take that with a grain of salt another con that i see in this curriculum is that i think it is a bit too gentle now this is for like i said level one or grade one and i think that 30 years ago when i was a thir first grader Yes, this curriculum would have been completely on par for the educational standards. And yes, some first graders might really thrive in this. Like I said, if it's a more of an independent curriculum for that first grader, but I think if a parent is sitting down one-on-one -on -one with a first grader and really teaching them this curriculum, I think, I think level two would be more appropriate. For the first grade level so and again that's just my opinion that's just my opinion please don't come at me in the comments <laughs> another con i would have to say is how it taught place value it taught teaches it in a place value village and you use beans now for my specifically the cons that i have with this 
is the beans. My little guy is, if he has something in his hands, he's gonna play with it, he's gonna fidget with it. And things that got knocked off the table, things rolled around on the floor. The manipulatives were just too distracting for my child. That's just my child, so that was a con for us. But I was able to teach him Place Value Village, but we really didn't use many of the manipulatives because too much of a distraction. Who do I think this curriculum is best suited for? I would say that this level one curriculum is best suited for those independent first grade learners. That's one air category of children that I think this curriculum would be perfect for. And number two, I would say for advanced learners in kindergarten that the parent kind of needs some hand holding for. Um, which was me in the beginning and now I feel very confident in teaching my child math. I had just never taught curriculum before so I wanted something that would hold my hand and he was already pretty advanced, an advanced learner as a, a four-year-old when we started this curriculum and he, like I said, he just breezed right through it and to really gauge as the parent where that advanced learner is, this was perfect because I could see that if he had any gaps, I could very quickly be like, oh, okay, he actually needs to be taught in this specific topic. For example, place value, he needed to be taught what place value was. And I was able to teach him that concept. Now, what type of learners is this curriculum not the best suited for? I would say those seasoned homeschool moms who have who have a love of teaching math and have the time to devote to it. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is would I personally buy this curriculum again? Yes, and I did. I bought level two for my current kindergartner and he is flying through that curriculum as well. And I will be doing a review on that curriculum uh, in a little bit. <laughs> but spoiler, once we finish level two, we are going to be switching curriculum. And final thoughts on this curriculum. I think it was great as a first time homeschool mom who kind of knew what I was doing in the beginning. It held my hand and it allowed my kindergartner to feel confident in me teaching him, honestly. Like he is an advanced learner, so he, he knew most of the concepts really except Place Value Village. So Place Value was the one that I actually had to teach him on but again he picked it up pretty quickly from the guide of this curriculum so I will be forever thankful for this curriculum because it really held my hand when I needed it <laughs> at the start of our homeschool journey so if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and with that stay tuned for more review videos of our curriculum thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye